Hey guys, welcome to Tia's Tactical. Today we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing the Vanguard 2 from Raven Concealment. Uh, the original Vanguard, which was originally Kydex that was made by Raven, um, was originally envisioned by Shea Van Vlyman, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And essentially what it created was basically what you're seeing here minus the, I guess their stanchion and the soft loop. Um, it was basically, at its original core, just a protective element for the trigger guard from a Glock. Um, the original ones as well as these are only designed to fit, I believe, uh, Gen 3 and Gen 4 Glocks. Gen 1 and Gen 2 Glocks are excluded from that, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about it. Um, one thing I will mention too, as long as I'm talking about it and it's right here in my face, the, uh, the soft loop for this uh, fits belts from 1 and a quarter to 1 and 1.75, 1.75, so keep that in mind as well. So those are some of the the, uh, the only real stipulations to purchasing one of these. Um, and with the same holster insert or trigger guard assembly as well, um, you can flip from right to left. So righties and lefties can both use this same piece, so there's no buying different models. So let's get right into it and we'll talk all about it. All right, so as we mentioned, the Vanguard 2 is really just a, basically a trigger guard holster, if you will. So I've got a safe and clear Glock here just to make that clear. Um, so by inserting the Glock into this trigger guard assembly and hearing that audible click, um, you've got it now holstered in the Vanguard 2. Um, some things to talk about with this. I don't typically carry it with the cordage. Um, th th uh, sorry, <laughs> Raven <laughs> includes about 24 inches of cordage with this, but um, I left that at home, so I just kind of rigged up some paracord just to show you some of the features uh, and functionality of the Vanguard 2. Um, I typically carry it with this soft loop right in my waistband, so um, I'll demonstrate that real quick. So ignore that paracord because that's not usually on there. And I just take the soft loop, mount it right on here, and snap it on. And that's my that's my carry position for this gun. So. What's, what I like about it is there is a little movement. Um, there's not a lot, but there is some movement if, uh, if you make it move. Um, you can adjust the cant on these too, so, and I'll get into that in a minute, but when you're actually tightening the soft loop down, you can, you can actually put in a cant on it if, you're, if you want a cant on the, on the holster itself. Um, what I mean by moving it around, so if I'm wearing it and you know, I'm out in public and it shifts, you know, I sometimes get that visible printing like that that you'll see, and I'll just kind of shift it back over like that. But it's pretty, it's pretty invisible. Um, you know, you will see a little bit of bulk from the side, you know, especially if I kind of squish out like that or anything like that, you'll see that. Um, but for the most part, if I'm standing still, it's really not visible much at all. Um, I try to wear, you know, a baggy shirt and things like that. Even with a t-shirt, it fits in well. Um, but what I do like about it too, and I haven't really utilized this much because I'm not a big... Um, person that tucks in their shirts or anything, but with the uh, basically with the stanchion that they have here, um, you can tuck in still to that holster, which is nice. So if you're someone that tucks in their shirts, uh, especially with you know suits and things like that, um, dress shirts, um, you'll just have that soft loop exposed. So basically, what I did, and let me show you, kind of illustrate that, is so on that post there, you're just tucking right behind there. So that's kind of the gist of that. So I'll show you how this draws now too. Um, one thing they specify in the instructions, which are very nicely done by the way, and I'll get into that in a minute, uh, is that you want to draw straight up. So you're not going to draw at, a, at an angle or anything like that. Your draw is going to be straight up like this. So once that draw happens, you'll, you can actually hear that audible click too, which I really like about this. It's, it's not so much Kydex, I think it's probably polymer injection molded or something like that. I'm not quite sure on the specifics, but as far as reholstering goes, the easiest and safest way to reholster is to just remove this, um, slip it back onto the trigger guard, and reholster it and snap it in again. Um, one thing I'd like to mention too on the instructions that I really like on the Vanguard 2, you can see the instructions right here, they've got a really nice booklet. Um, it's printed really nicely, full color instructions. I really like the instructions. And one of the main reasons that I really love the instructions is it taught me something that I didn't know before. Um, and that's on these, these push, uh, push the dot snaps that are 
very often found on um, soft loops and things like that. I've always hated them. I mean, just being honest, I can't stand them. So I was looking forward to testing out the Vanguard, but at the same time, I wasn't looking forward to the push the dot snaps. But thanks to Raven's awesome detailed instructions, I now know a little bit more about these, which is when you're actually looking at the female portion of the snap, and we'll get into detail and show this, but there's actually a brass ring that fits inside of this push to, or I, it's name, nomenclature is confusing. I'll push the dot. So um, the actual snap, there's that brass ring inside, and then there's the actual place where it gets clamped down or crimped down over that brass ring. Well, the brass ring itself has a split in it, you know, to enable it to get put into that female portion of the, the, uh, the snap. Well, if that female portion, uh, or I'm sorry, that brass ring gets twisted in here, um, that can actually prevent the snap from closing. And I think that's the problem I've been having all these years with these push the dot snaps is that Raven tells you right here in the instructions, all you need to do is rotate that little brass ring down behind that crimp mark and uh, it helps you out. And it really does. You know, what I noticed too is that when I also turn this crimp mark to be down at the bottom here, all I have to do is as I'm putting this on, I stick the bottom in and then press the top and it comes off very easily and I snap from the top down and it comes off just fine. I, I haven't had any problems since I came up with that and I actually moved that little brass ring in. I can do it every time. Um, and that's been my big hang up with these things is I guess that's end user error because I really never understood these enough to really know what was going on. So just a little aside and something that I really appreciate the uh, instructions on that helping me with. So anyhow, one of the other ways that you can draw this, um, the Vanguard 2 is instead of utilizing the soft loop, you can actually use the paracord, and I'm actually going to take off the, they call it a strut, and I always forget that, so this is called the strut. Um, I'm actually going to remove the strut from this assembly. Um, the original Vanguard didn't have any of this the strut or anything like that, so that's the way the original Vanguard looked in the beginning, or very similar, is without the strut, so it's just got a screw here. You just need to hold the back with another screwdriver while you're removing this. And now that whole strut assembly just comes right off with the soft loop. So now you're left with just the, the actual trigger guard assembly and your paracord or your cordage that gets hooked into your belt. So same thing like before. I'll go ahead and make sure that's properly clicked in. Hopefully I don't offend anybody by undoing my belt here. I'll buckle this back again. And now, if you want, you can just tuck it into your waist. So with this method, you've got the paracord holding it. And one thing that uh, Raven recommends in the instructions, too, is to not just put this paracord around a belt loop. Um, get it around something solid like the actual belt. You don't want it tearing open the belt loop as you're trying to draw and not being able to draw. But they do have a solution for that too in the instructions, which is pretty neat. So anyhow, same thing, you know, you're wearing the gun, draw straight up, and now that paracord catches and the trigger guard assembly or the Vanguard 2 comes right off the trigger and you can properly draw. Um, if it does, by some happenstance, happen to get, let me uh, actually take this off so I can show this a little better here. This is the Liger belt from Expedition, by the way. They haven't been making them for a while, apparently, but my favorite belt. So if it does get caught up and for some reason the paracord pulls three free, you're still sitting there with the paracord loop as well as the Vanguard 2 on there, you can actually just catch this on the table and pull that right off. So by just catching it on the lip of the table, you're pulling that right off and it breaks free, essentially. Um, and that's just done with the, uh, the little lip there on the Vanguard too. So that's a, a nice feature too is that you know even if you're coming up one-handed um, you can use an edge of the table or if you have a free hand you can just flip that down and uh, knock that loose and gain access to fire the weapon. Um, something that's nice too during transportation and travel um, you can you know fully rack the slide and eject a magazine um, while this is engaged which is nice. So you've got the trigger you know, covered, you're not actually accidentally going to AD 
while you're messing with the magazine or racking the slide or anything like that. So that's, that's kind of a nice feature of this too. So I'm actually really liking this. Um, I wasn't thoroughly convinced when I first ordered one that I'd really like it. And I'm kind of new to Glock, so I've been kind of getting used to that at the same time as the Vanguard too. So I've been a SIG guy all my life, but slowly learning the ways of the Glock. So um, that's just been a brief review over the, the Vanguard too. Um, it is all made in the USA, which is important to, to point out too from the guys at Raven. Um, we will, uh, you know, have some photos and a little bit more detail in the review on itstactical.com, so make sure you check that out. Uh, make sure you also leave any comments or questions you have for us in the, in the video, and thanks for watching.